Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Find the Missing Number. In this tutorial, we will learn how to find the missing number for numbers up to 1000. And we're going to be looking at subtraction questions. Now let's have a look at our first example. We have 873 minus something equals 600 and 42. So we've got quite large numbers here. 873 minus something equals 642. Now the first step is that we're going to reorder the question to make sure that the box is on one side of the equal sign and the numbers are on the other side. So let's do that. And the best way to do that is we're going to swap this box, the missing number, with the number on the right. Therefore, the question is going to be rewritten as follows. We've got the missing number here, and on the left-hand side, we've got 873 minus 642. So the numbers are on one side, and the missing number is on the other side of the equal sign. We can now do this using the vertical format. We have 873 minus 642. Let's label the columns. We've got units, tens, and hundreds. We are now ready to do the subtraction. Always check the sign. Okay, the units, 3 minus 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. How about the tens? We've got 7 minus 4. 7 minus 4 is 3. On to the hundreds, 8 minus 6. 8 minus 6 is... 2. And that is the answer. 231. We can write this in the original question. 873 minus 231 equals 642. So the missing number was 231. Okay, let's have a look at our second example. This time we've got the missing number first. Minus 583 equals 365. So something minus 583 equals 365. How are we going to do this? Well, the first step is we want to get the missing number, that is the box over here, on one side of the equal sign and the numbers on the other side. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the 583 and we're going to move it across to the other side. And don't forget, if it's a minus here, when we move it across, it becomes a plus. So to show this better, let's rewrite the question. We've got the missing number equals 365 plus the 583 we are moving across. Okay, notice it is a plus. We can now do this using the vertical format. So we've got 365 plus 583. Okay. Let's put a nice big equal sign. Let's label the columns. We've got units, tens, and hundreds. We are now ready to do the addition. Starting with the units, we've got 5 plus 3. 5 plus 3 is 8. On to the tens, we've got 6 plus 8. 6 plus 8 is 14. Let's write this down. 1 and the 4, so that's 14. On to the hundreds, we've got 3 plus 5. 3 plus 5 is 8, plus the one we have carried over. 8 plus 1 is 9. So therefore, the answer is 948. We can write this in the original question, 948. So 948 minus 583 equals 365. The missing number was 948. So that is how we find the missing number for numbers up to 1000 for subtraction questions.